My name is Lisa Schmitz and I'm an artist and a clinical therapist and I have a studio here in Oak Park called Whispers from the Moon. I think for me as an artist and a visual person, to have something that is functional and, and, and an amazing you know, painting companion to me, but also that is beautiful and aesthetic that inspires me to you know, dig a little deeper in myself. As an intuitive painter, I'm moving towards the color that calls to me, and I feel like I'm really expressing something that's a little less in my head and more in my heart. You know, just because of the, the width of them, I could scoop product out, and I actually can lay a foundation down for my paintings in a quarter of the time. So what I found with the blades in particular is that because they bend and they move, with me and the pressure that I put on, as hard as I can go, you know, sometimes I'm really pressing hard and I don't worry that it's gonna pierce my canvas because they really do move and adapt to whatever surface I'm painting on. And one of the ways I've been using the blades in particular is to really get the product mediums, the, the different gels and glues that I use under the surface and taking it and just doing like a sculpting process around the actual object itself so that I'm able to actually make it look like it's part of the architecture of the painting. I was putting my hands in products that oftentimes were not really good once they got absorbed into your skin. There are things that I don't know that I do that I always felt like I can only do if I was sticking my fingers in it. And I really do feel like for the first time I have some tools that I can use that have taken the place of that. So one of the other things that has changed about the way I'm painting now that I'm using these wonderful tools is that I can take my paint and literally pour it directly onto my canvas and get right in there with any of these tools and begin moving it around. And it really does, you know, kind of goes into all the nooks and crannies and the textures and the layering that happens in that creates a depth and I think an interest that really, um, it pops the painting, it creates a dimensionality that I otherwise was having difficulty trying to create.